In this video I'm going to show you the best way to paint an external corner just like this, two different colours. Stay tuned because it's coming right now. <laughs> Hey what's up guys, it's your man JB here and I'm going to be showing you the most effective way to get a nice, crisp, straight line on a corner of a wall like this. Now I've done a couple of jobs recently where they've had um, a wall in two different colours or two parts of a wall in two different colours where this could be for example the opening to another room um, so this could be one room and this could actually be the main wall of another room and they've had them painted in different colours. Now I've had a few people ask me before in the past how you get such a, a straight line there. And um, well, I guess you come to the right place because I'm going to tell you how and show you how right now. But before we get stuck into that, I just want to highlight that you're definitely not going to use a roller on this part of the wall if you want this and this a different colour or if you want to paint this wall and not this wall because I guarantee you if you put that around a, or on the edge of the wall here you are going to get paint on this side of the wall no doubt whatsoever same with the brush if you do this if you brush it like this and let the bristles just fly off again you're going to get paint on this side and lastly don't even bother using masking tape it just won't work for the purpose of this video I'm sacrificing the lovely magnolia colour of my basement workshop I'm going to be painting this in a lovely cloudless colour now I might actually have to do two coats of this to make it look good but for the purpose of the video, I'm only going to do one coat, but I'm still going to show you a flawless way of not getting it on both sides. Well, that paint certainly hasn't been used in a little while. That's going to need a good stir. Look at that lovely baby blue, I reckon that is. I will just start by cutting in on the bottom, on the skirting and on the ceiling. It's only a little bit, won't take long. So this definitely will need two coats, I can see by putting it on now the lighter cream underneath is definitely coming through. But anyway, I've cut the top, I've cut the bottom. Now I'm just going to get a bit of paint on there with the mini roller. So it really won't take long to paint this, I'll probably pick the, the best spot to do it in really. So what I'll do, I'll do it gradually so you can see what's going on. I'm going to load up the paint on the wall here and just get a bit more paint on my brush. Make sure the brush really is covered in paint. What I don't want to do is use a brush which isn't really primed up with paint. I'll make sure I've got lots of paint on there. Not too much that it runs though, that's important. So I'll just roll her as close to the edge as possible really and then what we're going to do with the side of the brush that's how we're going to sweep off the edge. What I'm going to do is focus on keeping the brush very parallel with the wall that I'm painting. What I don't want to do is hold it at 45. I'm literally just going to keep it as flat as possible just like that so it's 
the bristles aren't flicking as they come off the wall. All they're doing is staying quite straight and just dragging some of that paint across that section where I missed it with the roller. Once I've got to there, I'll get as close as I can with the roller, keeping that brush nice and flat. And you can probably see from this angle how flat I am keeping that. It's just ensuring that there's no flicking of the bristles as it goes off the other end. Make sure you've got plenty of paint on there, not that it's dripping off, but just so it glides off the wall. If you haven't got enough paint on there, that's when you're likely to push a bit harder and the bristles will start to flick. You can get the paint a little bit closer to the edge with the roller. And then just nice and gently. That's the key thing, doing it gently. Don't push hard because then you'll start to get paint on the other side of the wall. So the bigger the brush really the better because you'll get it done in, in a lot less time if you use a much wider brush. Don't be tempted to push down too hard on the on the brush just to get done quicker just take your time slowly drag the paint and eventually you'll get a really good finish and don't forget just to go over it with the roller again otherwise you're going to end up with lots of brush marks and here's where you've got to get as close as you can to the edge without actually going over the edge. As soon as that roller hits the edge you will get it on the other part of the wall and we really don't want that. Well, I don't mind in here because this is only my workshop but uh, you probably don't want that at home. If you want to get the paint even closer to the edge you can always use the brush and almost as if you're cutting in to the ceiling or the or the skirting line and then it will just make it a little bit quicker just allows you to get it a bit closer to the edge than if you're using a roller it's got to be really careful because the roller is quite a uh, well this particular roller has quite a thick pile on it quite a long pile so it it could quite easily um, go off the edge if you're, if you're not too careful There we go. Just finish that off. Nobody likes to see brush lines in paintwork. I've now got a lovely one face blue column in my basement. So just check that out. Got a real straight line all the way down there and the same on this side and if we go beyond the corner there you'll notice not a single bit of blue is on this side wall. Boom! There you go, that is how you paint an external corner two-tone, or in two different colours. No masking tape, no getting the rollers close as you can to the edge, no overspill of paint onto the other side, just a lovely, sharp, flawless, straight line right down that corner. Well anyway, good luck with that guys if you are going to attempt this kind of thing yourself and uh, why not leave me a comment in the box below, let me know how you got on or if you've got any questions or comments about doing this then uh, yeah stick them in there and, uh, and I'll check them out. 
Fantastic. So why not give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and you found it useful. That would be really helpful to me and help support my channel. And also let other people know that this video is worth watching. Why not go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you're not already a subscriber. And also that bell icon so you receive notifications when I release new content and videos. Oh yes, yeah, so I'm going to enjoy my cloudless wall in my basement while I clean up my brushes and then I'm out of here. So I'll see you guys real soon.